Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen Zapp and today is basically the start of my weight loss journey. Um, it'll be a very slow weight loss journey, I'll tell you that. But this morning I weighed in at 217.2 pounds. And I am starting today because our family is basically basically going back to reality. Danny went back to work this morning. Noah's been back in daycare for about two weeks now. And Olivia is at my in-laws house. She's being watched by them because I have an interview in 25 minutes. Figured I have enough time to sit here and talk to you guys and try to, I don't know, just talk and because I'm so nervous, I'm trying to like talk my nerves out. But um, I delivered Olivia on December 27th. And so I am now two months postpartum and Olivia has been such a blessing so far. So I didn't weigh myself postpartum um, like right after I delivered so I don't know how much I weighed but I know that on January 27th um, I weighed in at 218 pounds so I lost one pound so far which is I'm going in the right direction but just not as fast so like I said it's going to be a slow weight loss journey for me there's just a lot of life transitions and changes still in the next few months so I'm happy to take you guys along with me with that, but yeah. I'm so super nervous for this interview, and I'm hoping I get it because this is my second interview with the company, and it'll be a work-from-home job, which I already have a bedroom kind of set up upstairs for a work-from-home job, and I, I guess I kind of like wanted it to be all set up so I can manifest the job. And I'm hoping it works because I really want this job and I'm not, I won't be happy when my commute ends and I have to go back to my old job. Oh my gosh, wish me luck. All right, I just finished my interview. I think it went really well, but who knows. Um, turns out they wanted to do a second interview because they thought I would be another great fit for another position. So I, I interviewed for that, which I don't mind at all. Um, sounds like a great position, but just finished. I'm now eating because I only had um, this protein shake, like this Alani New protein shake, and then some water. So I'm having leftovers. It's just rice, carrots, and pork um, from an every plate box that we've been using. And then after I finish eating, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Olivia. All right, I just got home from picking up Olivia and I came home to two packages that I'm really excited about. First is a package for my lactation treats because I'm pumping right now. And second is a package from Factor that I decided to try out for my lunch for the whole week since I will not be too busy cooking. And I want to set myself up for success and not order any DoorDash. <sighs> and I decided to try Factor because I tried Freshly before and Freshly tasted horrible. So, oh my gosh, you can't even see me. That's better? Yeah. So, let's see what I got. I'm guessing Factor is the same company as HelloFresh because this looks as they like the exact same thing. Wellness shots. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't order this, but cool. Why they give me wellness shots? That's weird. Anyways, I ordered keto shakes, but instead I got wellness shots, but which is pretty awesome too. So here's one of them. Maybe I can take them in the morning. That's one of them. Another one of them. Another one. Well, it works out in my favor because I got keto shakes, which I don't know why I did that since I'm not on keto. But it turns out it works out in the end. Anyways, so this is how I'm setting myself up for success so far. I have my factor meals for lunch, and then I have our HelloFresh meals for dinner. And then for breakfast, I have the Wella shots here, and I have my energy drinks here. And I water these energy drinks down a lot because I think they're too sweet. And so I feel like it's fine for me to water it down throughout the day since um, it keeps me all energized throughout the day. So I just chatted with um, Factor about 
the whole mix up of the keto shakes how I received the wellness shots instead of the keto shakes and they refunded me for the keto shakes so $50 and that goes a long way um, so that's cool they let me keep the wellness shots and again that's it's kind of like a nice mix up also because I don't really need the keto shakes since I'm not on keto so I think for my next order I want to try their juices and just have that for breakfast um, so I'm going to have more fruits and vegetables into my diet. But like I said, I ordered the factor meals for my lunch because I don't think I'll have time to cook lunch if I am tending to her and I'm pumping. Since it can take like 20 to 30 minutes to cook and then sit down and eat, probably like 10 minutes maybe. And then there's dishes and all that. So I thought ordering factor meals would be a lot easier and healthier um, just to set myself up for success while I'm home alone with her and not just like door dash any food or even like go to fast foods um, and like I said I decided to do factor instead of freshly because I tried freshly before and honestly their meals did not taste that good like I preferred frozen like TV dinner foods from the grocery store better than freshly so I'm hoping factor meals taste really good like good enough for me to keep doing it um, and if it doesn't taste that great then I'll just have to go to the grocery store and order some order some and go buy some TV dinner meals but yeah it's pretty nice. Um, it's it looks like it's from the same company as HelloFresh or every plate so I um, mean and I've been doing their boxes for a long time now and so far everything has been super good so I have high high hopes that these will be good so I am exclusively pumping right now and I'm not sure how that fits into my weight loss journey like I'm not sure if it helps me with my weight loss because I'm constantly like removing milk and it like burns calories or if it's like not helping because I get so hungry all the time um oh you're hungry hold on um like i said i'm not sure how it aids in my weight loss um but i do plan on stopping sometime soon um well i'm planning to but i'm having a hard time stopping i don't know why it's so hard for me to put her on formula like it was so easy with Noah. He was formula fed, fed from like six weeks of age, and I would like could not wait to stop pumping. But for some reason with her, I'm like having a hard time putting her on formula. But I still have like a good amount um, stacked up in my freezer, so it should last not like a long while, probably about a month or so, I guess. But I did take this first step and ordered the Bobby formula for her. Um, I was thinking about using a European formula because I did that with Noah when he was um, an infant and I started him off on hip formula and I was able to order like in bulk overseas and it was like no problem at all. But I'm pretty uncertain about ordering it now especially with COVID and the delays so far and I've been seeing a lot of or hearing about a lot of websites being um, shut down which makes finding formula from European formula is harder to get and I didn't want to get we just get that problem so I ordered the Bobby formula and it's coming soon I'm either gonna stop pumping or just like try to pump like once or twice a day I don't know I'm just I don't know why I'm just so on the fence this time it's so weird anyways that is all for today's video I'm gonna post it today and then starting tomorrow March 1st I'm gonna try to vlog every day and compile it into one video and upload it maybe on Saturday and then give Sunday a rest and then start again Monday I feel like that's a good um, a good schedule but today she's getting her shots so it's gonna be a long night hopefully not but yeah that's all for today Hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.